Welcome to walkthrough 34 of Belfin's Koweito Ergo Zoom. This is Jeff, and we're about to head into the cytogenesis lab after I just did a little looting in the clinic area. I found two rat away, which might be the difference between life and death, since I cleverly forgot to get my radiation healed before I started this quest. And I took a big enough dose in the security office to bump me up into minor radiation poisoning. The lab itself is a big dark maze. Yay. There are rooms with some decent loot and a bunch of terminals that sort of explain what happened here if you read them all, although this room has neither. Carter and his team were in here when the Great War started. Since they were protected from radiation and looters, they could grow their own food with the cloning equipment. They decided to stay. They cloned themselves when they got old, but eventually some of them wanted to see if it was safe outside. Carter was, you know, thinking it was too dangerous. He wouldn't let them go. Here's a big book of science. Definitely want to take that. A woman named Ilsa managed to escape, but she never came back. In fact, I'm going to read that right now. The last email is dated about 50 years ago, and there's nobody around. So even though everything looks well maintained, clearly not all is well at Cytogenesis. Now, we're supposed to meet Carter in the lab, but he is all the way at the bottom, down there, behind a key door that you can only open with a terminal on this level, in a locked area called the MCOS lab. There are three ways in, and I'm going to use the bathroom here as a point of reference because it's in the middle. Plus, it's good to know where that is in case I crap myself because I am in way over my head. The MCOS lab is full of really tough enemies. The first way is through the IT department to the right of the bathroom. There are some blank hollow tapes in here, so make sure to pick those up. And some other good stuff too books and uh, more hollow tapes. <clears throat> There's a terminal around the corner that opens the door to the lab. Oh, a model rocket. We'll take that just because it's cool. Uh, the door to the MCOS lab in this direction does not require a password. These terminals, uh, not that one, but the ones that work explain why. Um, there is also a little Easter egg or maybe IT humor. Uh, about half the terminals in the IT department have snacks hidden behind them. Even though every single terminal in here has a reminder to the staff that food and drinks aren't allowed in the work area. So that's, um, you know, cute. Anyway, this is the door to the MCOS lab. If you are a tank and you don't have time to fool around picking locks and hacking, this is probably your best bet. <clears throat> Use this terminal to unlock the door, go in all guns blazing, because this way puts you right in the middle of the bad guys. Clearly not the way I will be going. Straight back from the bathroom, there is this little, you know, workshop break room kind of area. Lots of loot, energy weapon ammo, which I can't really use, but it doesn't weigh anything. I can sell it. Uh, the door in here has a very hard lock, or you can unlock it by hacking a very hard terminal. I can't do either one. I wouldn't do it even if I could because it comes out pretty close to the main group of enemies. Uh, I have literally no melee weapon skill, but seriously, who doesn't want a cattle prod? Um, <clears throat> this is right across the hall from the room where you unlock the path to Carter. So if you have Lockpick 100 or Science 100 and you just want to get in and out, it's worth a shot. And there's a vacuum tube. We'll take that for Coyote. Um, over here by the coffee machine in the microwave is the stuff that will probably save my life. We have medical supplies, a few stim packs, and Radaway, which gives me a total of three. And that might just be enough. Uh, these lockers have environment suits, which give you plus 30 rad resistance, also critical to my plan. Uh, we will take this flamer fuel. Don't need it, but I can sell it. And I'm going to repair the environment suit so that it is in the best possible condition. Uh, why can't I repair that? Oh, because I never picked up the other suit. Right. Okay, let's try that again. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's try that on. See how that looks. Lovely. The 
The third way into the MCOS lab is to the left of the bathroom through the science lab. The story is the researchers used the MCOS lab to perfect the cloning process, but also to make food when they were trapped here, and apparently they sometimes created weird experimental life forms. Which, guess what? The lab is full of. They're sort of like half-formed humanoids, and they are tough. Uh, they have zero damage threshold, but an insane amount of damage resistance, I guess because they're just big squishy bullet sponges. Long story short, you want to use your highest DPS weapon against these guys. Uh, straight damage isn't as important as DPS. This terminal gets you into the sterilization chamber. It works like an airlock. There's a door at each end. Only one can be open at a time. When the scientists were done working in the MCOS lab, they'd open the door at that end close it behind them, get a decontamination shower, and then come back into the office area through this door. But if anything they were working on escaped, they could do this sterilization pulse thing, which deals a ridiculous amount of radiation to normal life, but it completely disintegrates experimental life forms. And that is what I hope is going to get me through this. My character two hits with anything and I'm dead, but these things actually killed the stag in a previous attempt. And the only other time I've ever gotten him killed was with another character trying to brute force a change of management at the Lucky 38, and he got surrounded by Securitrons. They just shredded him. Bottom line, these guys are no joke. If you just tuned in, you can watch episode 33 to find out why this character is such a wuss. Um, but I'm, you know, <laughs> I've explained it many times. Anyway, uh, Ed E. I am going to need you to take one for the team. The plan is I'm going to lure these things into the sterilization chamber. I need you to stall them just long enough for me to get out the other side, close the door, and zap them. Uh, the stag doesn't have a wait command, so you're with me. Let's do it. This way is also pretty good if your character has good sneak skill, which I do not. But if you do, you can go this way and get some sneak attack criticals in before they even know you're here. I'm not going to be sneaking because for once I actually want the bad guys to see me. I have stim packs on a hotkey, so I will be spamming those. And I do have two stealth boys left if things get really dicey. Get the mysterious magnum out. <laughs> not that it's going to do me much good with my gun skill, but every little bit helps. And they are in here somewhere. All right, the stag already found one. And the rest of them are usually over here. Where are they? Oh, if they get behind me, I am hosed. Hey, over here. <laughs> this guy's going back to bed. Get up! Eh, seven-foot killer android and a woman in an environmental suit. Whatever, I'm going back to sleep. Oh yeah, that got his attention. Eddie, you're on! Nice. Alright, open the door, open the door, open the door. Ow! Hurry, 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 hurry. Shit, you're not supposed to come in here with me. Get back in here. Hot key a stim pack. Fortunately, that one just had a knife. If it had had a fire axe, I would be dead. All right, he's stuck in there. We will initiate the sterilization pulse. And any of them in the chamber were just disintegrated. The outer door is still locked, so it should be safe to go back in. And we have... That one... Oh, two, three, four? Oh, that went way better than I could possibly have even hoped. Oh, Eddie. Sorry, buddy. I'm not in hardcore mode, so he's just unconscious. The stag, on the other hand, isn't marked as essential, so he can die, and there's at least one of these things still left. Oh, there's the stag. Excellent. Oh, even better. Yeah, now that we have them outnumbered, this one's running away. Get him!
Yeah, I paid good money for this ammo, so I might as well use it. Oh, yeah. By the way, not a good idea to shoot the stag by accident, because when he's in a battle frenzy, he is much less tolerant of friendly fire than your other companions are. You know what? I might not even need to use the sterilization chamber on the last one. I, I think we can take him. Yeah, I know. Famous last words. But unless it picks up a fire axe, uh, I think we're in good shape. <laughs> this has gone so much better than any of my previous runs. I'm actually starting to feel sorry for it. You're probably thinking, geez, what's the big deal? That wasn't even hard, but trust me, I died so many times in here. Wasted my action points on a reload. Great. Jeez, can't even hit it in vats. I think I was doing better with iron sights. Hit. Miss. Hit. Alright, this is just sad now. Let's put this thing out of its misery and be done. Miss. Hit. Miss at point blank range. Miss. Yeah, you can see what I mean about the damage resistance. I mean, I'm <laughs> missing a good bit here, but when I do hit it, I don't think its health is going down at all. Which probably my lame gun skill, but the stag's wailing on it with a super sledge and only taking it down by like one or two bars. So imagine if you had five of these things on you and they weren't fleeing. Yeah. Miss. Hit. Almost took one in the head myself there. Oh, finally. I think maybe you're supposed to feel bad about killing them, because this area here is apparently where they spend most of their time. If, if you sneak in undetected, you can see them playing kickball with these balls that are all around. Over here, uh, we have some sort of creepy little shrine... Don't know what that's about. Yeah. And then, um, back in the dark room, we have, uh, I guess that's like a litter box. Ew. Uh, this is their living area. There's beds, food, knives, cleavers. Now, I don't know if that means Carter feeds them, like, clone flesh as protein, or if they eat their own dead, or whatever, but either way, nasty. Anyway, here's the room with the terminal. Uh, there are two doors. The other one, uh, right across from the break room is very hard, but this one in the back is very easy. Kind of forces you to get around here. In the room is the containment control terminal. You can also unseal the door to the sterilization chamber from here. If you came in through one of the other doors and you need to make a quick exit. But the option we want is that unseal transfer chamber, which is where Carter is. Eddie should be conscious now since combat's over. So let's go get him. I hear him. Don't! Oh, right there. Once again, man, you totally saved the day. I mean, look at this! Four of them were right on my ass, and at least one of them had a fire axe, and you held them off long enough for me to get the zapper. You are my best robot friend in the whole world. Let's go see Carter. Awkward. You're my best android friend in the whole world. And we're about out of time, so we will uh, confront Carter next week. See you then.